Ayurveda is said to be the world's oldest health system. It's based on the belief that health is achieved through a balance of the mind, body, and spirit through different practices, recipes, and remedies. So today, I want to walk you through my morning routine with a special focus on the Ayurvedic practices I like to include for a healthy mind, body, and spirit. I like waking up when it's still dark outside. There's something special to me about waking up when the world is still and quiet. I have a sunrise alarm that starts lighting up 10 minutes before the actual alarm goes off. It mimics the sunrise, so it starts off with a red color and slowly gets brighter and brighter over the course of the 10 minutes. The light helps me wake up gently and naturally instead of waking up in a state of stress with an obnoxious alarm, so I really love it. And when I wake up, I like to take three deep conscious breaths before getting out of bed. As a person who's dealt with anxiety and overthinking, this simple act has been life-changing for me. It helps me start my day off with mindfulness and in control of my thoughts before I even get out of bed. Ayurveda emphasizes the importance of having regular bowel movements, ideally the first one being in the morning. But if this isn't your case, some of the Ayurvedic practices I'll be sharing today can encourage healthy elimination. Now I move on to brushing my teeth. I've shown the toothpaste I use in other videos and I get a lot of questions about it. This is a natural alkalizing toothpaste made with mineral clay, sea salt, and pure plant essences. It does have a clay consistency, so initially it might take some getting used to, but I've been using this for years and I don't see myself using any other one. My teeth feel super clean. It encourages remineralization of the teeth and helps maintain a naturally alkaline pH so I highly recommend it. I'll have it linked below for anyone that's interested. After I brush my teeth, I clean my tongue with a tongue scraper. According to Ayurveda, toxins begin in the mouth. That's why cleaning the tongue is very important, especially if you wake up with bad breath or if you have a white coating on your tongue. You don't want that to spread down to the rest of your body. So I like to gently scrape my tongue about 10 times, making sure I get every area. Oil pulling is an Ayurvedic practice I've been doing on and off for years. And it's basically just taking a tablespoon of oil like coconut or sesame oil and swishing it in your mouth, sort of like a mouthwash. It's said to have a number of benefits like prevent cavities, whiten the teeth, and remove toxins. And ideally, you want to do this for 20 minutes, but I personally don't keep track of how long I do it. Lately, I've been oil pulling while I do some of my other morning tasks, like making hot lemon water, which is another Ayurvedic practice. A healthy digestive system plays a key role in our health, according to Ayurveda. And one of the ways we can support our digestion is by having a healthy hot drink first thing in the morning. Hot lemon water is said to help cleanse the body, stimulate the digestive system, and boost our metabolism. I talk more about this in my video on healthy drinks for clear skin, so if you missed it, I'll have it linked in the description box below. After I finish preparing my lemon water, I spit out the oil and rinse my mouth. And you always want to make sure you spit the oil in the trash, not the sink because the oil can clog the drain if you're doing this daily. While my lemon water cools down a little bit, I like to do my morning meditation. 
Talking to family and friends, I've noticed many have a desire to meditate, but they simply don't do it because they think it's either hard or that they have to be quote unquote perfect at it. But in my opinion, meditation isn't something you necessarily master, but rather something you practice daily, sort of like exercise. For me, it's part of my mental hygiene. It helps me stay aware of my thoughts and feelings. And you don't have to sit for a long time either. I keep my meditation practice between 5 to 10 minutes because that's what works for me. Staying consistent with my meditation practice is way more important to me than the amount of time I spend doing it. Welcome. This is a five minute morning yoga. I continue staying mindful and focusing on my breath as I move on to a short yoga session. Yoga and Ayurveda are sister sciences that are encouraged to be practiced together. Yoga focuses on harmonizing the mind, body, and spirit, while Ayurveda focuses more on our physical health. But both are meant to help us improve our overall well being. A 30 to 40 minute yoga session would be really nice, but it wouldn't be a sustainable practice for me. So I stick to 5 to 10 minute yoga sessions every day. And there are so many on YouTube. My favorite channels are Yoga with Bird and Yoga with Cassandra. They both have made practicing yoga in the morning so doable for me thanks to their short yoga videos. So every day, I just pick a random one and move my body while staying connected to my breath. An ancient Ayurvedic practice I like incorporating into my life is dry skin brushing. And it's just like it sounds. It consists of literally brushing your skin to stimulate the lymphatic system and help clear out toxins. You want to use a natural bristle brush and be completely undressed. So I start at my feet and brush upward, always moving towards the heart. And I just continue moving up, brushing each part of my body. And it's recommended to follow up with a shower to help wash off all the dead skin cells. Abhyanga or self oil massage is another Ayurvedic practice that I've added into my life. I don't do this every single day, but when I do, I really enjoy it because it's so calming and grounding. I like to use coconut oil and you want the oil to be warm, so I just warm it up by rubbing it between my hands. Very similar to dry brushing, a self oil massage increases the flow of blood and lymph, clearing out waste from the body. It's also a great way to show your body some love and thank it for all that it does for you. In Ayurveda, it's recommended to have something warm for breakfast instead of cold to further help the digestive system. A cold breakfast for the digestive system is like pouring water on a burning fire, and we want to stimulate our digestive fire, not put it out. So even though I do love my quick healthy smoothies, I try to only have that when I'm really pressed for time. And on most days, I'll make something warm like oatmeal, which is my all-time favorite breakfast. There's just something so comforting about it. I could honestly have this every day of my life and never get bored. There are three doshas in Ayurveda, Vata, Pitta, and Kapha. And depending on what your dosha is, there are other Ayurvedic practices and remedies that you can include in your morning routine to help balance your mind-body type. So if you'd like to take a quiz to find out what yours is, I'll have one linked below. By the way, I'm a Pitta body and Vata mind, so let me know what yours is in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you very soon.